hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time of seeing this beautiful face you're absolutely welcome my name is Faye. um so i got a lot of dms asking about how you could open blocked account and so many other questions the truth is about the block account opening um the regulation is not was not the same as at when i traveled what what we have now in nigeria the new regulation that they have now in nigeria was not the same thing that was there for me when i traveled um back in 2019 to Germany so it's different but at the same time um, I'm going to just show you guys how to do it step by step on my laptop I'm going to start a screen recording to show you guys how to do it on my um, laptop and I will talk about what you should take with you the documents I think you should need and if you need any extra document I think your bank should be able to tell you that okay but I, di I didn't want to film this video because I felt like it was an obvious thing that you should know but at the same time, I tried to film it because I got a lot of requests for it, a lot of DMs. Every time I keep getting DMs, and I was like, okay, I'll just film a video and, uh, sorry, film a video and just stop the answer instead of me um, just asking you guys to please do this, please do that, please do this, please do that. So now, let's go into the... Um, is that the recording? Okay guys, so now I've started the recording. As you can see on my screen, um, this is Fintiba. This is what I would ask you guys to use. This is what I recommend for you to use. Not ask you guys to use. This is what I recommend for you to use. It's not compulsory, but this is what I used and it was quite easy. So if you want the easy way, I suggest you just do this. So this is Fintiba. When you come to the Fintiba website, I think I will leave their website in my description box below. As you can see, there's the Fintiba Basic, which is the basic block account, um, which just has only you opening your blocked account. And um, there's an initial fee of 89 euros, which you have to pay, which will just be added to the amount you have to pay into your blocked account. And there's a monthly fee of 4 euros 90 cents, which you don't have to worry about. Before they pay you every month, they already deduct the money that they that is needed, basically. And now we, there's also the Fintiba Plus, as you can see. This is for both blocked accounts and health insurance. Um, the monthly fee is the same thing for blocked accounts. For the health insurance, there's no initial fee, but we have the monthly fee that starts at 33.10. But for this health insurance, um, it's just for travel health insurance, as you can see here, travel health insurance. So please don't get it mixed up that it is... Um, Maybe your insurance here, no insurance is, okay, the insurance of take something in but if you're doing an insurance of take something in just expect, like, you can go to some, maybe some private hospitals, like a doctor's office, I don't think they will accept such insurance there, or as the optician, or at the um, optician, or the dentist, or something like that, you might not be able to visit all those places, or dermatologists, so I would never advise anybody to do anything cheap, okay, I mean, when that is cheap, doesn't there's screw screw inside, <laughs> so, there's the travel health insurance as you can see here that is just it um so now there's also the health insurance this doesn't this is none of your business because you are looking for blocked account now let's assume we're doing the basic blocked account you have to come to open account now once you come to open account now so you will see this part which you have to fill i would have to fill it for this video purposes I'll fill it off screen and then move to the next thing. But before I fill it, let me talk about it because I don't want someone to be asking me, oh, you said this in the video, this, this. Because I suppose I don't like talking about it. I feel like they're obvious to answer. But suppose you come to ask. For nationality, if you come in, you type um, your nationality, your, your, your country, basically. Um, you have to select and not just type in. It's not going to go if you just type in without selecting. You just, you just don't type in like for instance maybe you're a canadian and just type canada you have to like select it in the box or else it's not going to work out okay guys so for okay guys so for the reason of for stay now let's start studies this is for people that come here for bachelor's or masters okay bachelor's masters phd i don't know so that's for studies working they are required to pay a particular amount of money um into the account or something i don't know maybe for your first time coming here maybe because of your apartment or whatever i really don't know um out pair that is for the help like when you're coming to help for kids or something like that i did a video about that already about six weeks to come to germany yeah so you just pick whatever is 
job seeking this is the job seeking visa the six month job seeking visa that germany introduced so if that applies to you you pick it and if it's other you pick it so yeah for people of you to just use whatever name that comes to my head I'll do this for whatever sake because i don't know this is just a random name in my head um let's choose what's now let me see what year now let's say this year okay <laughs> um city of bed since i chose nigeria let me go with lagos okay um yeah lagos nigeria um uh, marita stasis let's say she's person is single reason for stay let's say the person comes for studies now you press on continue okay um i'm not married so yeah the second nationality no so now we move on this is the second one um, you put in your planned date of arrival. So let's say we're opening this year. We're planning on coming first of August. First of August. Um, let's say twenty twenty one, right? twenty twenty one. Are you enrolled at the German University? Yes. Start date of the semester. Let's say the semester is starting eleventh of August, twenty twenty one. That's just. This is not real data. This is just assumption. Okay. Let me put maybe University of Bonn. Just the university inside. I don't know why University of Bonn came to my head though. University of Bonn. Okay, no. Let's just pick a university. Okay, let's say Frankfurt University of Applied Sciences. Okay, let's continue. Do you have any other tax liability in the USA? No, because do you have a US immigration visa green card? No. Are you gently but if you are if you have you can just speak yes, okay? If you have, you can just speak yes. Okay, I'm just giving this based on assumption. Have you resided or will you be residing in the USA for an extended period of blah blah blah? No. Are you jointly taxed in the in the USA with a US spouse? No. So, but if this applies to you, please speak it. I'm just trying to show you. I'm just trying to do fast way out of this. So now this is the agreement. I'm not going to finish this all because if I open account, then I would have to like. There will be an account open for me. I don't have money in the news, but I don't want anybody to stop me for that. So now, there's you put your email, you put your phone number. If you have a voucher code, you could use it. It will ask you for your voucher code. Um, your password, you can put your password in there. You create a password and then you sign all of this. For your documents that you have to take with you to the bank, you would need your admission letter that I know of. I remember your admission letter, your passport, your or let's say contract, your student contracts, your passport, um, maybe your school's transcripts. Your if you're going for your master's, maybe your bachelor's transcripts, and if you're going for a bachelor, maybe your WIEC result or NECO result or something that your school admitted you with. Um, what else? Mm, I think that's all. Actually, I think that's all for this video. I think I've answered the question, and yes. So if you have any other question regarding the, the blocked account that I didn't explain properly, please do well to leave them in the comment section below and I will reply them. But for now, I think that's all about this video because I didn't even want to film it in the first place because I feel like it's not something that is so hard for anyone to get. But since I got so many DMs, I decided to just do it, okay? So yes, guys, that's the end of this video. So let's say, guys, thank you for tuning in today. And if you're not subscribed, please do also subscribe, like, comment, because I'm not only sharing about Germany stuff. Like, I'm also sharing my life here in Germany and some other things I'm thinking about dropping here. I'm also thinking of filming some other fun vlogs with my friends. So, yeah, just stay tuned, okay? And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!